Good evening, friends. Because there's still an upload going on, and the reading previously, Job was so miserable, I thought I would select from what I've typed up from the Glenstall Abbey uh, prayer book that I use. They're beautiful prayers, so we accept them that you, they're going to be your prayers and mine, including the blessing of the house. That, that's in these, and I'll, I'll name each prayer before I read them. The um, faithful hearts sincere take the pledges of salvation here. Ireland, a 7th century prayer from the Roman Missal. I'll name each prayer before we go through it, each one. Soul of Christ, make me holy. Body of Christ, be my salvation. Blood of Christ, let me drink your wine. Water flowing from the side of Christ, wash me clean. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. Kind Jesus, hear my prayer. Hide me within your wounds and keep me close to you. Defend me from the evil enemy. Call me at my death to the fellowship of your saints, so that I may sing your praise with them through all eternity. Amen. That was from the Roman Missal. I'm now going to do number 13, the prayers of self-dedication written by Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Dearest Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour and not to ask for any reward save that of knowing that I do your will. Amen. The following prayer is also from Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Receive, Lord, all my liberty, my memory, my understanding and my whole will. You have given me all that I have, all that I am, and I surrender all to your divine will, that you dispose of me. Give me only your love and your grace. With this rich enough and I have no more to ask. Amen. Prayer number 14 in the book is a prayer in difficult times. At least to pray is left, is left. Oh Jesus, in the air, I know not which thy chamber is. I am knocking everywhere. Thou set us earthquake in the south and maelstrom in the sea. Say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hast thou no arm for me? That was the prayer of Emily Dickinson. Now going to bless my own home and your home with the following prayers. We don't have a leader or anything like that. So in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Peace be with this house and your house and all who live here and there. That includes my 32 neighbours. Reading. This is the reading. Whatever house you enter first, say peace to this house. And if anyone is there, who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Cure the sick who are there 
and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. Those words are from Luke 10, 5, 6 and 9. Lord, we ask you to bless those who live in this home and your home. Be their shelter when they are at home, their companion when they are away, and their welcome guest when they return, and at last receive them into the dwelling place you have prepared for them in your Father's house, where you live forever and ever. Amen. All you have to do is say, Amen. And if you've got holy water, you can sprinkle it and say the following words. I speak of mine. Let this water bless this house and call to mind our baptism into Christ, who has redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Amen. Once the water is blessed by a deacon or a priest, it just stays there. You just sprinkle a little bit. May the peace of Christ reign in our hearts and may the word of Christ and all its richness dwell in us so that whatever we do in word or work, we will do in the name of the Lord. Amen. Um, the reading, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your heart which indeed you were called in the one body. Colossians 3, 12 to 15. Lord, we ask you to just bestow on this family and the riches of your blessing, the gift of your grace. Sanctify those who live here and where you are, so that faithful to your commandments, they and you will care for each other Ennoble this world by their lives and reach the home you have prepared for them in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord God of hope fill you with every joy in believing. May the peace of Christ abound in your heart. May the Holy Spirit enrich you with his gifts now and forever. Amen. I have one final prayer for the elderly and as I'm elderly this is for me as well in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all and also with you and the reading for the elderly Rejoice in the Lord always Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 to 5. Lord our God, you have given the grace to maintain hope in you through all life's changes and to taste and see your goodness. We bless you by your gifts. You have showered on us good health and may you inspire us by the example and the asses through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening. Now I can get on with the next miserable reading from Jeremiah. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be sad, but not as long as yesterday's. <laughs> <laughs>